morning, Internet. Welcome to another adventure. Today I am with a girl and her bike. How are you today? Good. Ma'am. Also, Nathan, Nate Dog, my man. How are you today, sir? I'm excited. And Travis. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How you been? I'm good. All right. And then we got Goose, of course. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> so today we're out here at Milestone, and I'm working with this thing. It's a 2018 CRF 250R that Honda gave to me for a little while to test out. Not that I'm a pro rider or anything, but... You're not a pro rider, but yeah. you're getting to the <laughs> point that you're you're better and you're realizing that you need a bike for the track Right. And you need a bike for the trail. I, I, I've learned that I was on the wrong bike. There you go. So I'm hoping that this gives me a little bit more confidence. It should be lighter and easier and, and just more fun to ride out here in this environment. There's nothing wrong with the WR, but the WR is going to be just for desert. So, Honda gave me this bike for a little while to check out. Uh, if I like it, I'm probably going to turn around and buy it, so it was a good move on Honda's part. And uh, I get to share my experience with you. I don't know what to expect. I'm just going off my WR. This is the first time I've ever ridden something like that. But I think we're going to have a winner here. And it's the R. It's do, you know, do you know what R stands for? Radical? No. Race. The race model. Oh, <laughs> race model. Woo! Ridiculous. <laughs> also, being out here at Milestone, I've just got informed that the VEC track that I'm used to uh, has now been crushed up and reconfigured. Uh, so, Nate Dog is telling us that it's actually a lot harder and more technical, so <laughs> that means more problems for me. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go out, we're going to see what it's like. Showing off. Oh, I can already tell you, this feels way different. Way different than the WR. Take me a long time to get used to this track and the bike. Track is so different. Night and day difference between this and my WR. Night and day. Feels like a little F16 fighter compared to that WR. Jeez, what a difference in bikes. All right, I'm gonna drink some water, take a little break. What are we doing, Travis? You saw me riding around this bike and you're like, you have to do your sag, you have yeah. to do your sag. So that's what we're doing. So how are we doing it? I think personally sag's really important. Sag's, sag's basically how the, how the bike sits. So if you have too much sag, um, the, bike, the bike could sit and it, it'd be like a, a pre-runner. So the forks wouldn't be using everything within the stroke. If you have um, too little sag, it'd be like a stink bug and your forks could be going too far down into the stroke. So the, the rear shock, which is the sag, has a lot to do with the entire balance of the motorcycle. So if your sag is set where it needs to be, to where when you're standing up on the bike and when you're sitting down on the bike, it, it, it compresses and the suspension goes down together, it's really important because you don't want anything, if you hit an obstacle that you're not expecting, you don't want the bike to do something unexpected. So sure. You want to be able to hold onto the thing, keep it underneath you at all times. There's a zero up at the top, see it? Yep. So that zero needs to be at the bottom of your fender. Okay. And then you basically stick this in the axle to where it's adjusted to where... This is where we need a little mark, like a pencil. Go up with it. 
Is it on the zero? Okay, cool. So we're right on that brown spot, we're hit, we have a Z at zero, right? Yes, sir. So now what we're gonna do, so we have, we have it completely measured at zero and it's on the stand, nobody's on the bike. So now we're gonna take the bike off the stand, you're gonna sit on it in like, in riding position, and we're gonna see how far the bike sags, how it squats down. Okay. And, and is it, if it, it's either, it's gotta be within like 105 millimeters. Why 105? Yes, that's just like around four inches, and that's how much sag you want with, within, I mean, everybody's weight is different, so, that's, that's why you have to adjust the rear shock in order for it to sag four inches depending on how much you weigh. Right on. So let's take it off the stand. You're gonna have to hold him up as he gets into the riding position. Uh -oh. You're gonna hold me up with your legs? Go ahead and get your feet on the pegs. I have weak legs. Get him stand up over the bike, bend your knees a little bit. Okay, hold him up. So let's see where we're at. Don't lean anywhere. I'm about to drop you. Dude, you're about spot on. So check it out, we're going off of that little dot. And that little dot's at four and a half, four, four inches and a quarter, which is about 106 millimeters. That's right where we need to be when it comes to setting sag. Yeah, so that's, that's how you set sag on essentially any dirt bike with a rear shock. Simple. Simple, which for you. I didn't really show you how to adjust it. Um, Thank God we didn't need to. But I showed you how to check your sag. Apparently Chaparral already has a video that shows you how to set up the sag and make the big adjustments that we didn't have to do luckily yeah. today. Uh, I'm going to put a link to that in the, vi in the description of this video and go check it out. If you guys think you can do it and you want to do it, I encourage you to do that. If you have any questions, I mean, feel free to reach out to me on Extra Delinquent. I'm always on your channel, so I check through the comments. I'll, I'll answer back. Want me to just put your phone number out? No, no. <laughs> no don't. All right.
<laughs> what are we gonna do? Since we can't go out on the vet track because they're watering the son of a bitch, we're gonna go out on the kitty track, the beginner track, where we're gonna go head to head on a race. What do you think, Z? Race, race. race yeah, buddy. Race, race. If I win, yeah. we take an Instagram story of you bowing to me. <laughs> And if you win, we'll take an Instagram story of me bowing to you. Okay. Like hands to the feet. <laughs> bowing. All right, that's deal. Okay. I don't know which way we go though. I already stalled. Ready? We gotta hurry, man. Now there's people on the track. See, I told you you'd beat me. Yeah, but I got lucky that you stalled out right there. All right, Nate Dog. Yo. Dude, thanks for the instructions. Unfortunately, Travis left, yeah. but uh, you know, he's got duties. He's got duties. Well, this is the first time I rode the CRF 250R. Dude, I had a lot of fun on it. It's a huge step from my WR250. But it was a fun day, dude. I had a lot of fun on this bike. I'm learning still. I'm, I've got a lot to go, but I'm, I think I'm way more comfortable on this bike out here than the WR. So I'm going to give a big thanks to Honda for setting me up with this. It's a lot of fun. Thanks, guys. I'm going to take good care of it. I'm going to bring it back to the track probably another few times before I return it to you. But uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you're aware of when I do upload a video. Be part of that notification squad. Make sure you check out Girl in Her Bikes channel. She's always up to some fun stuff over there. Big shout out to all the patrons of the channel. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. You guys motivate me when I feel like I'm getting into my rut and whatnot. Dude, and I need that extra boost. I know you guys are there to support me. All right, huge out to the channel sponsors, Chaparral Motorsports, San Bernardino. We got law offices of Henry Haddad and Voss Helmets. And make sure you check out my website at suburbandelinquent.com. I'm always adding new stuff there. With that, I'll catch you guys later.